Hello students, in this video we're going to go over the definition of a separable equation. Um, Alright, so here's the definition and what you'll notice is that we have a product of two functions, g of x and h of y, and the other thing that you should take away from this definition is that one of the functions is uh, written entirely in terms of the independent variable, in this case x, and the other function is written entirely in terms of the dependent variable, in this case y. Let me show you a couple examples here. So um, let's take this first example, dy dx equals 3 sine x. Now, um, one way that you could view this as a separable equation is to view 3 sine x as g of x and hidden here, uh, so to speak, is h of y, which is the constant function 1. And then what we're going to do when we go about um, solving these equations, um, after we um, identify them as separable in this case, um, we'll write them in this differential form where we'll take a dy and it'll be equal to 3 sine x dx. And then we'll integrate both sides. Um, in this case I divided the dy by 1 and um, that'll be more evident uh, when I show you the next example. In this case we have e to the minus x squared plus y, but remember, um, I can if I have a sum of exponents and they have the same base, I can write that as a product of uh, this um, powers with um, the same base. So e to the minus x squared times e to the y is e to the minus x squared plus y. So now what I'm going to do is uh, if I want to break this up into um, with the uh, differential form again. Um, I can divide both sides by e to the y and, malt and uh, leave e to the minus x squared there. That's the g to the x. And that's the um, h of y. And then I separated my um, differentials dy and dx. So this is ready to integrate. Or you could um, take the e to the y in the denominator and write that as e to the minus y. And that may, might make it easier to um, integrate it in that case. No matter what, um, this um, turns out to be um, not only helpful in terms of understanding the definition, but also helpful in terms of being able to solve the problem. Because you have an e to the minus y dy equals e to the minus x squared dx, so um, the power of it being separable is that you have everything in terms of the dependent variable on the left-hand side, everything in terms of the independent variable on the right-hand side, and then to solve this equation, uh, you would just simply integrate. But I'm going to stop there. And when we get into solving um, separable equations, uh, we'll take this a step further. All right, good luck.